Hello guys, welcome to the tutorial how to apply to Harbin Institute of Technology Shenzhen. This is a very straightforward process. What do you need is a computer, internet and some of your certification. Example here, I have my degree from my bachelor from Ecuador, IELTS and other certificates. So guys, now go to the computer. So guys, now we are in the computing. Now we start the fan. We go to hitss.edu.cn and you will access to the HIT version in Shenzhen. Now you can change to the English mode here. This is the international version of the website. So the most important part is here admissions and the schools. I will tell you why the school is very important. Now we go to admissions. Uh, here you can find all the, all the procedures for the admissions. In this case, we will focus in 2024 for graduate programs. Here you will find like a, what is Shenzhen, what is the university. Now we can focus on the important parts, the graduate programs. Not all the majors have the same PhD and master. For example, for the School of Economics and Management, for PhD program, you only have Management Science and Engineering. But for master programs, you can find Applied Economics and Business Administration. So this is very important. You need to take care when you decide your major. Then the other important part is that we need to know when is the deadline, especially to get the scholarship is better. It's always better if you get the early beer application. This will be until March 30, 2024 this year. So this is better chance to get the scholarship. Now the application materials, passport, your degree, your transcript, your student plan, recommendation letter, uh, your, your CV. Now, in the language proficiency, depends on the major, now everything is taught in English. So you need a TOEFL more than 80 on an IELTS more than 6.5. Uh, the photocopy on your foreign physical examination form, I will explain you later how you can make it. And no criminal record report, this is up to you, it's, it depends on every country. And bank statement, and this is like a, the part that you need to read very carefully. Now we'll go to the important part. Example here is when you upload all the materials and when you can get confused. Uh, then it's like um, you should also read that part. You should read everything, by the way. And when we are talking about the fees, you, we have different kind of scholarship. Now we can see this is thirty-five thousand yuan for today. Thirty-five thousand yuan is almost like a, we can say five, uh, four thousand five hundred euros. Um, for PhD program is 14,000. So we are talking about 5,000 euros around. This is the fees. Then you have the scholarships. For the scholarship, we have three kinds of scholarship. Uh, this is the university scholarship. Here you can see the awards. Then we have the Shenzhen University International Scholarship. This is another one. And Guangdong uh, Government Scholarship. It's like a, you have the scholarship from the university. Then you have the scholarship from the city, and then you have the scholarship from the province. You can also apply with the uh, Chinese scholarship. So this is the important part key. Don't remember, read everything. And now we can go to the admission system and take a look around there because it's here is where we need to load all the materials. So I need to create it again. We're going to create new account. You register your email your passport, and your nationality. So we send the verification call. Now we can go to check our email. Normally it would take time, depends on your server. We enter to our emails. We take the verification call. We paste it, we go to next, then we put a password. And it's successfully. Now we can log in. Here is our interface. So here start a new application, we agree. You can put self-supporting or entrance scholarship. 
depends up to you. In our case, we will try with entrance scholarship. Then you decide you are doctor or master undergraduate. In my case, do doctoral. Then we can see the different major. It's computer science, management, management science and engineering. Apply. Then we start filling our information, marital status, religion, gender, everything, our home address in our country, where are you from, everything. So this is everything very straightforward. And here we are talking about the part where will you receive your documents, the time that you, you will get accepted normally in your country. Here is your passport and visa information, what is your previous passport, and so on. What is your learning experience in China? You already have learning experience in China, this can help you, especially because you already understand the culture and you already have language skills. For example, in my case, I, I studied in China one year Chinese. So I remember I put what I learned here, what was my visa type and everything. My financial support, a sponsor that time, of course, my father, my family, my warranty information, of course, my family, and my emergency in contact, my family. So this was the easy part. This is just personal to you. Don't worry, make it right. Here is when you can see the other more interesting part. And we, here is the major that we choose, management science. Here is our study time. Here, up to you. Personal recommendation, agreement recommendation, self recommendation, all of them are almost the same. If you have a supervisor, Ah, you have a supervisor. That's the interesting point. As you can see in this part is when you can put the supervisor that you already get before. How do you get before? This is a special tip, a special part. Remember that we were in at the beginning of the of the website. Then we go to the English website. And in the English website, I say you have the schools. Example, these are the schools. You can find the professor in staff. And you can find all the professors, all the professors. You, you change to English, you find the professors. You say, example, I want to see his professor. I enter, I view his CV, where is he coming from? Interesting, education. I can see the most important is the papers, research project. This is what he's now working, communication theories and key technologies for deep exploration. Research areas, here's where you can get the information about the professor. Then you send a letter to them. You say, hi, professor, I introduce myself. I would like to be part in your research team. My skills are those. I read your paper that was very good about blah, 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 blah. Something like that. As you can see here is the email. HST. Here is the email and another information. What I said also before was we can search by schools. Why by school? Because in the school we can already find a little more information. Example, one of the best schools of space science is here in HIT. Because they are the guys who make the rockets who go to the space in China. So as you can see here, you can change the language, you can find a little more information because the more information you have, the better you can express yourself when you're talking with your professors. It's like, I already understand the Institute. I already read about the Institute of Space Science and Applied Technology. I know that you already launched, example, this, this rocket and you was the head of that project, something like that. It would be increase your chance to be accepted by your professor if you have the information. So here you can read more, you can find the staffs. For example, here are the professors, you can enter to the professors research, try to find the contacts. Here is the link of where are the, the publication. So remember, this part is very, very important because if you have the acceptance for a professor, your chance to get a scholarship increase. Better probability. So for this part, I leave this. Now we can see what else. Example, if you already have a professor, it would be better to put it here. Where to apply for a scholarship? Of course, most of the people we will put yes. And why is the reason that you apply for a scholarship? Just be honest with yourself and everything. And reference, uh, this is for your work because they ask you for two recommendation letters. So here's where you put that information. 
here is like a, you put my previous university, example, I was in the Complutense University of Madrid. So I put here, I put my professor and everything. Here is this bar. This is your reference plus you have to have the two recommendation letters. Here is the language proficiency, English. Well, because the course are taken in English, and also they value the HS case. As told you before, you can also put GMAT or GRE if you have it. It's no mandatory, remember, no mandatory. But if you put that, you will increase your opportunity to get a scholarship. And a good one. Yeah, you can see the GMAT, the HSKK, if you take it. Now we will go to the education background. Here's where we put our bachelor degree or our master. So you put the master degree, what is your higher education, and your scores and everything. This part is also very important because um, what they value the most for the scholarships is the education background. So depends on the university and the G GDP. So if you want to see what is your university, probabilities, you can go to this website, is Shanghai Ranking that CN. You change to the English version. Then you can go ranking, academic ranking of the universities. Example, your universities here is like you increase your chance to get a scholarship. Example, in my case, I made my master in Spain. I go to Spain. And you can find many universities. So if the universities are here, the higher the ranking, the better the probability. Example, this was my university, Complutense University of Madrid. So it's a disadvantage because I am from Ecuador. But as you can see, Ecuador is not here. Egypt, Estonia, Ethiopia, Finlandia. But remember, we always want to try. We don't know. We just try our best. We send our papers. We send our certifications. We try to get a better IS. Everything is possible. This is just another part that I want to tell you how, how you can increase your chance. And now here is your work experience that when you work in your country, you can put it. You have it in China, something like this. No problem. You put it here, your experience and family members, normally your father, your mother, and so on. After we fit this part, now we came to the big one. Here's where we update our information, our credential, our documents. Here is where we put our degree and everything. First, the valid passport, take a scan, allow it here, graduate certificate, here, if you don't get your certificate right now, you can upload what you have. Later, I will explain you what I upload in my case. Here, your higher academic transcript, your study plan. Example, this study plan, take care. If you use ChatGPT, make it yours. Example, ChatGPT can give you a base about how to write it, but then make it yours. Please, guys, remember, make it yours. Then, our reference here is our contact that from our, um, our professor before, the two recommendations that, that we have. Our CV, here is where we put our TOEFL IELTS, our certification. This is our medical report that uh, we can take for our countries. I will also spray you a little later. And the criminal record, financial support, that is like a one final bank statement that you have. And here's the certification of, of the payment. If you send the money, you can also pay by WeChat. If you already have a WeChat, you know a Chinese friend or someone, they can pay you by WeChat. Or in the other case, you can just send a swift transfer to this account. And you can see that here is the account it is 60 bucks. And other certificates. This is quite important example. If you have another certificate, you speak another language. Example, you speak Spanish, but you are no native speaker, you can put the uh, the cells, or if you if you know German, you can put the that the Portuguese selpe. Example, in these other certificates, if you have an award, example, you were working in a multinational company and everything, you can put here the certification that they give you. As you know, in sales, they give you certificates when you are a good sales, like a, hey, you have this this prize because you was the best seller of this year, something like this. Here is when you can put another. Another certificate, a sport, you already win a gold medal in your high school or something like this. This is the part. So, as you can see, all the process is very straightforward. You can go to next. We already allowed in the videos. We already allowed the files. Also, you can here put a file about yourself introduction. 
In my case, I prepare a file to introduce myself, what I want to study in China, and so on. Um, this is a way to show them your communication skills, like uh, your, your English level, or another thing that you want to say to them. Remember, this is university, and but the people who made the decision is people. Remember, people to people. This is business. Try to show yourself. Then we have the part of the, are you an immigrant? No. Where are your parents born an immigrant? This is up to you. Uh, this is award information. You have any awards, as we said before. Uh, you are currently in your hobbies, triathlon, so on. You have particular disease, my smoking, everything is like a no, 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 no. So, as you can see, the process is very straightforward. And in the application node, you can put this. Ma Yun. Remember, put here Ma Yun. And you can say, save and continue. And with this, we are ready over. For example, you go next. And here you will pre visualize everything that you can you already did. So now you need just to go down and download the application form and submit. And that's the process. So, guys, now. Go to do it. Remember, we are waiting for you. And when you have added, uploaded this information, here you have this bar. You have the message, the notice, where you can find, where you will find the notification about your acceptance process and everything how it's going on. As you can see here, it's like I already have an application. I can edit, change, submit, delete. And when I already submit, they will hit me here in the status area. You will see like a in review, then you will see accepted, rejected. So guys, this is the system. This is how to do it. As you can see, it's very simple. You need, before to start this journey, you need to prepare all your documents, the much as I can, and just do it. So guys, see you around. I will also, in the next video, I will tell you a little about my, about my experience, what paper I upload, a little what I make the my resume in the next video so please like this video share it and see you in the next one bye bye